I'm not certain where the, fir- where the idea for the first Gay Pride March came in Cork, but I'm assuming it was from Arthur Leahy. Arthur was the guy, you know, not just that drove on uh, the gay rights agenda in Cork, but he had the ideas, he had the stamina, he had the courage. And he was always pushing the boundaries, always ensuring uh, that, you know, it never slipped off the agenda. And that's why I admire him so much. So that first Gay Pride March in Cork, myself and Arthur at the head, and about 20 people behind us. They were nervous, they were afraid, they had so much to lose. You know, Cork's a small place and everyone knows everyone else, and being reported to your boss for being gay, uh, you know, or being part of a demonstration, that could spell the end of your career. And I always think that those that set off on that journey that day, they were marching for something, not just themselves, but for others that would come behind them. To be able to live a life worth living, a life of their choosing, a life without repression. Those 20 brave souls couldn't possibly have envisaged where we'd end up today. That the Gay Pride March, the Gay Pride Weekend, is now one of the major festivals in Cork. Bells, whistles, boas, bands, buses, everything. And I think those people must be enormously proud of what they've achieved.